so mad at myself. I'm so mad. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Basically, the video that I'm about to film for you guys, I actually already filmed um, and was ready to sit down and edit it and have it ready for you guys to upload tonight. And then I look at the video and the entire video is out of focus. So I wasn't gonna post the video. So I'm re-filming this and I feel like it's not gonna be as good as I filmed it the first time because when I filmed it the first time, I was hitting all these good points, you know, whatever. I'm literally sitting in my Elmo pajama pants like ready to edit and upload this thing. But that's not gonna happen. So this video is going up a day late now, I'm really sorry. My bad, <laughs> my bad, okay. Oh, I have nothing ready, oh my God. Cause I suck and filmed an entire video out of focus. All right, I'm sorry, this intro is such a mess. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today's video is sponsored by Guggenbase. If you guys wanna go check out any Guggenbase, Guggen Squad products, they're coming out with a lot of new apparel is going to be really crazy. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on my Instagram with the new apparel drops, but Guggen Squad is just coming out with some of the best products in the game right now, um, especially apparel-wise. Everything I'm about to show you guys isn't gonna be out for a little while and I'll explain that in a minute, but yeah, the apparel game, is unreal. Everything's gonna be dropping in different segments and chunks, but I'll keep you guys updated on my Instagram. Make sure to go over to the Guggen Squad website, and if you use my code Becca, you can save some money. It's 10% off at checkout. And uh, you guys always ask if you can like support the channel by you know doing this, this, and that, or donating money. Do not donate any money to me. Just use code Becca at checkout, and I will be more happy than you donating like 10 grand. I would be more happy if you use my code Becca at checkout. Yep. Ugh. All right, let's dive into this. I'm gonna be showing you guys some Guggen Squad products. Stick with me. Um, they're coming out with some of the craziest things I've ever seen, um, but I'm gonna touch base on some things that literally has never been shown on YouTube. I'm the first ever person making a video on this and I feel pretty cool about that. So welcome to Fisher and Becca, baby. Make sure to subscribe, drop a like. All right, can't tell I'm literally exhausted right now. <laughs> but I'm hyped, <laughs> I'm hyped. So right here, you're probably gonna look at this product, right? And you're gonna be like, what the hell is that? This right here is just a tube. It says Guggen Squad in a tube. And you're probably like, what the heck? This, you're never gonna see this. This is never gonna be sold in stores like this. Um, it's just so early in production. Every bait that I'm showing you guys right now is so early in production that it's like, it's not even close to what it's actually gonna look like. So I'm gonna assemble it to how it's actually gonna look. So you're gonna open this up. Yes, it's just a tube. Um, obviously, they were thinking of selling it separately and like all this stuff, but it's not gonna happen. You got the Guggen Squad logo, which you guys probably can't see, but it's on the cap. Guggen Squad here. And you're probably like, it literally looks like a test tube. This makes no sense. What am I supposed to do with this? Well, I got you. So right here, you got this test tube, right? And then right here, you got freaking Slipknot drop shot weights for my Northern Anglers, AKA me, because I live in New England, buddy. Okay, so right here, a little weight, a little slip knot weight, um, which is one of the most popular ways to throw a drop shot. Ooh, I don't not like that. Let me put, I don't know if I like that. A mess, we're a mess. Anyway, so these are drop shot weights and they're gonna obviously have the Guggen Squad logo stamped on it as well as a size. Uh, this is one eighth. A beautiful river in creek fishing drop shot weight right there. And you're probably like, bro, why is it green? They're gonna have green, they're gonna have gray, and they're gonna have black weights, and they're all gonna be stamped. Um, you're gonna know what size is on them like they do with our their crankbaits. They have like the depth on them and all that stuff on the jerk baits, uh, the, <sighs> everything's labeled. It's so nice, so easy. Anyway, so then, you see those weights and you see that tube. Every time I buy tungsten weights, you open up the tungsten weights and they go everywhere and you never end up using all of them that are in the package because they just go everywhere. Like they just can't be properly kept stored with the package they come in. So, Guggen Squad, I love you. I've never seen this done before. Let me know if I'm crazy or not, but I've personally never seen this done. Maybe at least in like you go to Dick's Sporting Goods, you're not gonna see this. You, you go to Bass Pro, you're not gonna see this. I've never seen it done before. So you take the tube and you take the waist I just showed you and this is how they're going to be selling it. They're gonna be selling it in the tube with the weights in it. Um, they're gonna come together in the package besides separately how I just showed you. I, it is genius. It is literally genius. You're never gonna have any issues. You literally just go pop and you can grab a weight. Oh no, I need a weight. Done, so cool. I'm pretty stoked on that one for sure. I think it's just purely genius. 
they're gonna be coming out with just so many different things. Um, right here, you got a beautiful Nico weight nail. What this is called nail nail weights. Which if you don't know what nail weight is, I feel like it's it's not that popular, but I can see it getting a lot more popular. It's for the Nico rig. You don't know what Nico rig is. Um, I didn't know what it was when people first started talking about it, but it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna take a black and blue Senko, aka Lunker Log, aka Code Back at GuggenSquad.com to grab some Guggen bait. Um, but you're gonna take your Senko right here. Pretend you're gonna wacky rig it. You're gonna wacky rig this bad boy. Don't I have a hook right here? This isn't a wacky rig hook, but I feel like this could work. So you're gonna take your hook. Pretend it's not weighted. This is a weighted hook. You wacky rig it straight down the middle. This is your hook. And it's gonna go, and it's gonna go do, 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 down, right? Well, you know, now, this is how you do the Nico rig. You're gonna take your Guggen nail weight and you're gonna shove it on the, <laughs> you're gonna shove it, you're gonna shove it in the bottom end and you're kinda, I like to twist it. I think twisting it makes it a lot easier to like go in. So you're gonna twist it a little bit, you know, maybe shove it, do what you gotta do so it's not exposed whatsoever. And now, besides of this thing floating down like a normal wacky rig, it's gonna float down more of like this, I guess. And it just gets the finicky fish uh, pretty much just fired up. So it's a technique that's starting to get a lot bigger in bass fishing. And I'm pretty jacked on that because I think it's brilliant. So you have that coming out. They're pre pretty much going to take over like the entire terminal bass fishing section. Um, but if you didn't see the title and the thumbnail, you're crazy because that doesn't make any sense. But right here in this package, this package is literally not going to exist. Um, you're not going to see this right here in this package. Uh, it's so early in production. I got my hands on these way earlier than a normal human being, uh, but I just came back from Texas and the boys hooked me up and told me to take some stuff of the new products that are coming out. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a video on this early before everyone else, be the first person because I wanna be a legend and <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just love you guys. I want you guys to know what I know. So what I know is that it's coming out and it's gonna be really cool. So this is accurate. This white thing right here and what's inside is accurate. This is going to be how it's gonna be produced to you guys. So basically you're gonna open this up and bam, you're gonna have tungsten putty. So it was in the thumbnail, but I'm gonna pop it up right here. That is the container that's gonna come in. If you do, if you do or you know, or you've seen like a can of dip, it's going to be the same exact thing. Like it's literally gonna look like a can of dip. It's gonna be one ounce. So it's not gonna be huge. It's like literally like this big. No, that's a terrible year. No, that's, that's too large. It's gonna be like that big. It's really not gonna be big whatsoever. And it's gonna come in with this much and it is going to be, <laughs> This is actually a lot. It doesn't look like a lot, but a lot goes a long way when it comes to this product. You're probably thinking, what the heck is tungsten putty? That doesn't even make sense. So when they first showed it at the meeting, I was like, I don't, what, what is this? Like, I'm confused. I'm nervous. I'm like, why is Guggen coming out of the product? This, like this, it doesn't even make any sense. Um, and then they sat there and they explained it to me. And I was like, I know I've said this a couple times in this video but it's brilliant. I looked into it when I went home and this is um, a technique that carp fishermen use a lot. Like it's very well known in the carp fishing community. And then like China and Japan, it's, it's heavily used also when it comes to fishing for them bass fishing. So I feel like the United States, USA, America, baby, we're like the last country to like really dive into this. It's just not a very well known way to fish. It's a little uh, four rot Guggen Squad hammer hook. You're gonna rig this hammer hook on. For me, I'm gonna use a palmer knot. You can use whatever knot your heart desires. Okay, so right here we have the dart, five inch in the California craw color. Um, this, this beautiful thing right here. This is just for technique, okay? What are you gonna do with tungsten putty, Becca? What the heck are you gonna do with tungsten putty? So first off, you're gonna rig up your fluke, aka your Guggen Bates dart. Okay, so anytime that I'm throwing like a fluke presentation, my number one thing is, is I feel like every time I rig it up, I'm like, it's not getting to the depth that I want it to, in every situation. Like I'll rig it up and it's like perfect for those couple casts. It's getting to the depth I want to, but you don't wanna, you know, break it off and retie it on with a tungsten weight or a split shot or, or really whatever. So you're gonna take some of your tungsten putty and this is like a microscopic piece that's really stretched out, but it's actually a lot smaller than it looks right here. But you're gonna take that and you're gonna take the nose of your bait and all you're gonna do is you're gonna rig it like right where you just uh, snipped off the end of that knot, your polymer knot, or whatever knot you, you, I don't know. There's so many discussions. Like, it's just like, 
so much drama in the fishing community with what knot's the best. I just feel most confident with Palmer knot. Don't hate me. That was so bad. Okay, and then that's literally it. Like now your your fluke style, aka your dart, is going to get to the depth that you want it to. And it doesn't only work for that. It works for you know your lunker log, your weightless senko, um, it, any bait you could possibly imagine. A freaking inline spinner. You're trout fishing and you don't wanna have a million different weights for your inline spinner in your little trout box or your panfish box, whatever. So all you do is you have your little can of, that's that large of one ounce hunks and putty and you can change the depth and the weight of any single bait in your box. So besides spending thousands of dollars having uh, every size possible for this color and that color, this color and that color, all you have to do is have a can of tungs and putty. It is literally brilliant. <laughs> like, it blows my mind that this isn't something that's heavily used in, um, you know, USA. It doesn't make any sense. Like, this is so cool. And the fact that the Guggins are taking such a risky step in introducing a product like this into the bass fishing community is just, kind of just shows, like, they don't care. They just want to make everyone the best angler they could possibly be, even if it means them coming out of the product and getting completely on you know what i'm saying so this is just like it blew my mind away when we were sitting at that table um and then i ended up going fishing with lfg the next day and he had it in his boat and i was throwing a, just a little paddle tail at swim bait i'm trying to think i think it was a three something size that Guggen baits make with the saucy swimmer and we we're throwing it um and catching very decent sized bass but the depth was so inconsistent and i was like dang it this thing is weightless it's not going the speed I want. It's not sinking as fast as I want. And I was like, oh wait, like let me get some of that tungsten putty and I put it on and it is a game changer. Um, seriously, I don't even know what to say. Like this thing's gonna be crazy. Say you, you're throwing a weighted swim bait hook like with the belly of the bait. Wait, with the belly of the hook being weighted right here. All you have to do is put a little bit of tungsten putty on the belly of the hook and change the, the weight of the hook. Like it's, I don't know, it's gonna save so much time and space in your terminal tackle box, and not even just in terminal tackle box, like I just mentioned, shit. You're, you're throwing a zinger, you're throwing a freaking spitter bait, and you want, you're throwing three eighths, but you want like half ounce or, or an ounce, whatever, you just tongue some putty. Why are more companies doing this? I don't know. But I'm happy to say I support the company that's doing it. Um, I know it, it's just not that known in the United States for bass fishing, but I know a lot of carp anglers in the United States do indeed use it not a lot actually but i know a couple that definitely use it so it's not gonna be coming in this package like i showed you guys at the beginning it's gonna be coming in your little dip can but it's going to be really cool so i have all the products right here well maybe not all of them but most of them like you know we got the green the black wait is that gray no that's black sorry the lighting's super weird and then you got the gray the lighting's really bad i'm really sorry but you get the point so google squad terminal tackle coming to a store a store that was not english a store near you um i believe they're going to be inside of dicks uh, per usual, Guggen, you walk into Dick's Sporting Goods and there's a lot of green. It is Guggen. <laughs> so, I, I'm pretty positive these are going to be available at Dick's, but of course it's going to be available first on GuggenSquad.com where um, I'll be keeping you guys updated on my Instagram of when they're going to be dropping, when they're going to be released and all that good stuff. So, if you guys are interested, let me know. And also, let me know in the comments down below, what are you going to do with Tungsten Putty? Am I crazy to think it's one of the coolest products ever? And I am I can be as honest as I want. That's why I enjoy working with the Guggen Squad is because I can sit here and say, hey, I don't really think this tungsten putty is smart. So if you guys want to buy it when it comes out, or if you think it's cool, let me know. Um, Guggen Squad makes it amazing to work with them because you can literally say whatever you want. Um, it's fantastic. So if you guys are interested in uh, these products, let me know. I seriously want to hear all your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm not just trying to make you guys comment for engagement like 90% of YouTubers. I'm just so curious because uh, you guys know how much I love Guggen Bates and everything they stand for and et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of all these products. I'm pretty stoked on this and I'm so sorry I had to refilm this video. <laughs> and I'm sorry I couldn't upload it today. I, it, you guys would be watching this on YouTube right now if I didn't mess up. So I'm gonna beat myself up over that for a little while, but hey, you guys are going to see the video, and I'm not going to half-ass the video and upload it completely out of focus. So, 
I got you. Anyways, peace now and signing out. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's episode. All your thoughts, comments, comment down below. Code back at checkout, baby. Do all that beautiful stuff and help support the channel, and I'll be so happy. I'll literally cry. I'm not even kidding. Like, please, don't, don't donate me money. Code back at checkout. Anyways, I'm peace now. I love you guys. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys next time. Ugh. How do you film an entire 20 minute long video completely out of focus? I have 20-20 vision. I can see the flip up screen.